What's up, YouTube? Today I got a treat for y'all. I'm going to show y'all how y'all going to root the, root the Boost Galaxy G3 Emerge. Now, this phone is already rooted. I ain't want to go through all that. I'm rooting it again, but i let y'all see that this phone is rooted real quick. As you can see, congratulations, root SS is properly installed. But I'm going to show you how to root this phone. First, you want to go to the internet browser, download a few files. Now, you can download this on the computer or the phone, whatever way it works best for you. But type in twerp, T W R P 4 J3 Emerge. Now, you want to go to we it says install Troop Recovery on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. Get drawtips.com. That is the website. And you can get all the files that you need from here. If you don't got old and or Super SU, all the files you need from here you can get. Get the Samsung drivers from here, but first you want to get get twerp. Okay, say download twerp because you want to click on that link. Then you want to click on the green link where it say begin download. And you want to wait for the mirrors to come up. Now you want to click on any one of these download merge once you click on that a few seconds should start downloading now you want to go back to that website you want to look for super su zip like i said if you don't got old make sure you download old and your drive is also from this website you want to go to download latest super su Once you do that, it should take you to chain file web page. Now you want to click on where it says download CBSU. Now that should start downloading. Now once that finished downloading, what you want to do is go to my files. The, the file manager. My device should be in download. Make sure you got both of your downloads. You can see I got through. Super SU now what you want to do is move Super SU to your SD card. That is somewhere where it's easy to get to. I put mine in downloads. Once that's moved to your SD card, what you want to do is go. Now if you got the Samsung drivers on your computer you want to hook your phone up to your computer. If you don't got the drivers, make sure you hook your drivers to your computer. Most of the time, once you plug your phone to the computer, the drivers are automatically installed. I'm going to sit this phone down for a minute while I hook, this, hook the phone up to the computer. Once you got your phone hooked to the computer, you got the drivers installed. The screen should pop. You want to go to your phone. Once the screen come up, go to your phone, look for downloads or wherever you put the troop zip file. Now you want to move this file to your computer. Let's see if you download it on your phone. Once you move that to the computer, now what you want to do is go to Odin if you have Odin. If you don't have it, make sure you download Odin on your computer. Alright, you want to go to Odin on your computer. Wherever you put Odin at. And I'm going to click on the AP. Let me see. 
click on AP. Just make sure you unhook your phone from the computer before you pull a whole nut. Click on AP. Once you're on AP, look for the truth. Just to show, I put mine on the desktop, so that's where it's going to be on the desktop. Click on desktop and look for truth. And once you find truth, click on it twice. Should, once you click on it twice, it should go to the AP section. Try to. Should sure goes on the AP section. It should look like that. Now, what you want to do is put your phone in download mode. Power off your phone. Quite sure everybody know how to put their phone in download mode. Now, in case for y'all that don't know, I'm going to sit the phone down for a minute while I talk. You want to hold power volume down at home at the same time and once you do that you should get this screen right here then you, once you get this warning screen you want to hit volume up this is download mode once you're in download mode you want to hook your phone to the computer If you got the drive installed, you should get that little blue light up right there. That's like you know that it took the old and everything installed and properly. And once you're in the old, you want to, and this is very important here. What you want to do is click on options. Option on your phone. Uncheck where it say auto reboot. Make sure you do this because if you don't do this, old will not go on your phone. Now. Once you got all that, what you want to do is click start. Click on start. Sure, flash old to your phone. Once you see past that, let you know everything is installed and properly. Now, once you see past, what you want to do, you can unhook your phone now. I got to set the phone to my phone down that I'm reporting on when I'm still talking. Once you unhook your phone, make sure you hold volume down and power at the same time till you get a black screen. Once you get the blank screen, hurry up and switch it to volume up, power, and home. Once you get black, make sure you, you hold volume up, power, and home at the same time. Once the screen go blank, then you do that. You should be in old. I mean, you should be in twerk recovery, my bad. It's right now. What you want to do is, once you're in twerk recovery, click install on your phone. And you want to look for the super SU file. You just, is on your phone. You want to go to, where it say, select storage. Go to SD, hit OK, downloads, hold up, install, storage, hold up, storage, hyper SD, Okay, I had it all. Well, once you get through, go to install. Once you install, look for where you put the CBSU. It should be on your SD card. Make sure you got it on your SD card right there. And it say SD card. Make sure you got that check. Now, 
Click on the super ass you zip file. Once you got the zip file, you want to install the zip file. Install super ass you zip file. I already got it installed, but so I'm not going to install. But once you in switch, install the short flash over to your phone. Once it flash, you want to go to reboot system if it, if you go, if once you go to reboot system if it say super user not installed on the phone and truth don't install it again push do not install on truth because it's already installed on your phone and once you follow all these methods everything I just said your phone should be rooted You should have roof on your phone now. If y'all need any help, just leave a comment in the comment box, and I will try to be my my best to help y'all the best way I can. But if you followed all the steps I just said, you should have roof. Or oh, you can just go to that one of them web pages and read read how to do it. But it's simple. You can root almost any Galaxy phone this way. This what you want to do it. Just basically. What is you doing is flashing troop, putting troop on your phone, and flash your super as you. That's all you got to do to root your phone. Put troop on your phone and flash super as you. And you got root. Thank y'all, YouTube. Like I said, if y'all need any help, just leave a comment in the comment box, and I'm going to try my, my best to help y'all. Subscribe and like this video. Thank you.